All right, we're going to be doing a uh, couple of rooms in a rental trailer house. And I'll show you. I'll go down a step here. And then we got this room. This room's got some bad stuff in it, and she's not sure what it is. It may or may not come out. Some of the stuff, some of the stuff comes out. Some of it doesn't. This is built on ground level here on concrete, so it may be some seepage from uh, a wet pad. I'm talking about the concrete pad that may be stuff seeping up because it's been raining a lot. So that's what we're doing. We're going to get the pre-spray mixed up and start spraying and I'm going to pause the camera here. So just stay tuned. Alright, we're priming the work sprayer. Those are somewhat starting to lighten up already. They may come out, you never know. Yeah. They're not very pretty looking. This feels like concrete, oh, but there's a floor yeah. vent, so it can't be concrete. So I guess this isn't seeping up from underneath. It feels like a slab, but it isn't. And we're, re we're using the Betco Green Earth Peroxide. We're not, we're not boosting it or adding anything to it. We got some spotters with us if we need them. I'll spot this stuff, we'll see how it goes first. We're gonna be using a microfiber bonnet this time. On these thin carpets, we don't like using the Challenger yeah, pads because the, the, they're- The Challenger, the center pads, they, they, they bounce too much. Yeah. And, and they don't, and these center carpets will rip a hole right through a carpet. Yeah, you'll start to get where the, uh, where the pad rides up against the pad driver, you can wear, you can wear a hole through your pad on a thin carpet. So on thin carpets, use thick pads. And on thick carpets, you can use thin pads on those, or you can use thick pads. Thick pads you can pretty much use everywhere, but thin pads keep them on thick carpets. Now, thick, uh, thick pads you don't want to use on thick carpets. They cause, they cause a lot of, it's kind of funny. You use thick pads on thin carpets and thin pads on thick carpets and you always feel alright. Except you know, if it's a microfiber, you can use them on thick carpets too. Pretty much the one thing to avoid though is a thin pad on a thin carpet is just going to be a, it's going to be a rough ride. And you're going to know about it. You, and you put a hole in your pad. Yeah, you wear your pads out. I'm going to pause here because it's going to take them a minute to get back with the machine, so. Stay tuned. Hey, found money. It's the best money. <laughs> Somebody left some change in the window sill. So. Go ahead. All right. Now we're using the uh, microfiber with scrub strips. We have a solid microfiber. We kind of like the one with the scrub strips a little bit better, but they're both good. I don't like the solid microfiber. I like the one with scrub strips. Now, why you got to say that? I just said we like them both. Well, we have them both. But we like this one a little better, and then you said, I don't like the other one. He you, likes you, them, I don't. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It, they work good for some things. They but, all uh, work, yeah. But I like the ones with scrub strips. I just know that the scrub strips is better to me. Yeah, it seems like they're less grippy. You'd think that they'd be more grippy, but for some reason, the other one seems to stick harder uh, to the carpet. It's a little bit harder to turn and maneuver. Don't forget to get behind the door. Yeah, I will. Ooh, it's approaching 100 degrees today. This is a hot room. The rest of the house. Yeah, the air conditioner. There's a there's a big gap on either side where it's not sealed off, but the air conditioner isn't really keeping up with the heat load very good right now. Luckily, it's a dry heat though. Texas, and Texas is in a heat wave, so. Yeah, it's a heat wave, but a couple days ago it was super muggy out, so it was really miserable. Now it's drier, so it's not too bad. You can you can handle 110 degrees if it's not muggy. Now we may come back on some of this stuff, and well, there's a lot of this. You just gotta know when yeah. you're permanent. Some of it will come back with maybe some spotters and do a little more, maybe. The truth is, if something don't come out pretty fast, it's not going to come out pretty slow either. No, a little bit. And, and that's how it is. You just, if something don't come out 
roots of the queen, if it's not coming out, it's permanent. After you've done a few thousand carpets, you sort of figure that out. What about right in here, did you? I put over, do that, it's a worn carpet. There's no fiber on the carpet. Yeah. It's, like a, it's, a, it's like a saddle blanket. Okay. I was watching Brandon Manning's video this morning and he pointed out something good. Uh, he was playing some rugs and uh, I think he was doing a voiceover after the fact. And he was talking about the camera sometimes shows things that uh, you don't see with the naked eye. So we clean the carpet till it looks good to the naked eye. But the camera picks up on artifacts and well, things you're right not going to see. Right it's, it's deceptive because it looks like we're not getting the stain out. What you don't see is there's no fiber. So I'm getting the, paint, the stain out where there's carpet fiber. Where there's no carpet fiber, I'm not getting the stain. There's no carpet. Yeah. It's, in, it's actually into the back end of the carpet. This is like mouse fur at this point. Yeah, kind of. And it's delaminated as part of it. Yeah, it's had years of abuse. Now the rest of the carpet in this house doesn't look like this, it's decent. It's this newer is, carpet. You can tell this is the room that got abused. I'm going to go stand over by the air conditioner, I don't know what I'm doing. Is it even running? It's running, it's blowing cold air, it's just it, it doesn't go about a, three foot out to the room and it dissipates. See this is all just coming right up because there's carpet fiber underneath it. If there's carpet fiber, I can get it up. See, look at this. Yeah. Well, cleaning is not repair. You can clean things, but you can't you can't uh, you can't fix damage with the cleaning. All you can do is get the dirt out of the damaged area, but the damaged area still looks like damage. So. See, that's just coming right out. That back there, that's that's something different. That's that's where the carpet's damaged. And that might even be uh, that's probably the food from the back end. I'm coming up to the top. I'm not kidding, it's so old. Might be time for a can of spray paint. It's yeah. Time to repaint the carpet. Let me move over here. Oh, let's try this right here. Yep, yeah, out it comes because it's got carpet fiber underneath it. Now, we've been using this Betco Green Earth straight. And we're trying not to use spotters at all or anything, and uh, we're just making it work. And it, it, it seems like it works most of the time. It works pretty really good. good. But uh, we don't want to have to spray anything else down if we can help it because we want to make the Betco do it all. A lot of times with this stuff, if you just make it work, you can make it work. If you give up and go get something else, you know, you'll end up spraying every chemical you can think of on something and it still don't come out. It's just, uh, it just you didn't work at it enough. Well, the secret to knowing if a chemical is good or not, use it about 50 different times and don't use nothing else. And yeah, that's a real test. Give it a fair chance. Well, a lot of people buy a fancy chemical because they hear that it's the greatest thing in the world and it works good on a few carpets. Then they get one of those carpets you're not going to clean very easily and it doesn't work so good. So they instantly think, oh, my pre spray is no good and they switch brands. And really, it's not that the pre spray isn't any good, it's just some carpets don't respond to clean. Oh, this stuff's all just coming right out, right in front of me. Yeah. All kinds of junk just coming out of here as fast as it can. So, when we use a pre spray, we tend to stick with it for maybe a couple of years even. And if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work good, you're going to know right from the start it doesn't work good and you don't have to waste your time with it. But if it's been working good for a month or two, then it's a good pre spray, it's going to keep working. But you get one of those carpets that's been neglected and damaged and things, and you're not going to be able to do anything with it. Every once in a while, you run into those. If you do rentals, you run into them all the time. Okay, let me go over there. Hit those things there a little bit where you're at. I don't think those are stains. I think that's where the back end's coming through the top. It might be. I'm not joking around. I can't see good with my reading guy. It's not very good. The, the light back here is pretty bad, and I've got my reading glasses on. Oh, yeah, the rest of the house will have good lighting compared to this. Yeah, this is kind of dingy back here. This is the worst carpet, the worst lighting, and everything in the whole job. So this There's one little room that I didn't show you. It's really dinky, and it's really dark. It's got like a 20-watt light bulb. 
Yeah. I'm not going to try to video in there. We might. Let's see. No, I'm not going to try to. No, I want to, but he doesn't because he don't want to help. Well, I don't want to make the video. Minutes, I don't right? want the video too he long. He don't want to have to edit a video or go so I don't I'm going to pause it here because we're going to relocate. So stay tuned. All right, now we're back in a nice bright room. It's a beautiful sunny uh, day. Person will prime the, prime the works. It's probably, probably still prime there. It just sets for three or four minutes and needs to be primed slightly. They all like that. All of this is the water starts running down the hose. That's not our Clorox, by the way. That was sitting here to hold the door open. And we're going to leave it for now because all the filling is taking out of the way the door starts something on the market. Yeah. The last thing I'll do is, if I remember, is to go behind that door. Yeah, there'll be enough free spray on the bonnet to go back there. Yeah, a little residual free spray, so to speak. You can always give it a little shot if you want to. Now, one thing we use the works when we want to put down a heavier spray. He brought the, uh, what's that other one called? The Field King. The Field King. Is that what it's called? The Field King? Field King, yeah. Um, we like it, but it doesn't put a very heavy spray spray down. Nothing, so nothing gets wet like this thing. It takes longer. This is like bringing in the garden hose. And the Ryobi's big and heavy, and we didn't bring that with us this time. So We used it out here. Last time we came out here, we used the Ryobi, so we thought we'd... Change it up and switch over and use that uh, works out here for a while. All right. All right, all right, all right. Where did I hear that? It's the last bit of movie. You big dummy. That reminds me of a TV show I used to watch. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. You big dummy. Get your rump off my stump. Cleaning a mobile home. Yeah, right. now, these are these are all rentals out here for the most part, and mobile homes are nice because they like VLM cleaning because hot water extraction and truck mounts they end up running their subfloors because the carpets take so long to dry. And they put down a ton of water and they don't get it all picked up fast enough, so the slow dry times ruin the flooring, and so VLM is really popular. In certain situations, these are great in hotel rooms too. They have this short nap carpet, and you can be in and out of a hotel room in VLM three or four is minutes. Great in, uh, mobile homes, hotels, apartments. Yeah, uh, and it dries super fast. It's great in houses, businesses. Uh, I, you know, that's just great. Yeah, it's great everywhere. There's nothing better. Now I did spray some spotter on those uh, other stains. I went back and it didn't do anything. So no, because that's what that is. They really were just damaged spots when I got them closer. The, that's the glue. That's the glue from the back and coming up from the top of the carpet. Yeah, that's the lamination, and you're starting to see the carpet come apart, and then and now the bottom's at the top. The top's gone. Once you've done several thousand carpets. You just kind of know when you're dealing with certain things. Yeah. Here's the truth. If That's you, a, they, they had divots in it, you know. If you can't take a stain out in a couple of, with this machine, if a stain don't come out like in a second and a half, or it don't start coming out, it will never come out. You just, you, you got a permanent stain, you just need to keep moving. Otherwise, you'll spend, you'll spend, you'll spend 15 or 20 minutes in a room like this, it'll take you three or four. You can always go back on it after you've done the whole room. You want to get your pre spray worked in See, and like used, here, but you can come back longer. on stuff. When I get the whole room done, I'll come back and hit on it some more and I'll get yeah. the pre-spray chance to sit in a little more. It's a little dingy. But, and, uh, but what it is, it's damaged carpet. Yeah, but peroxide will lighten the carpet as it dries the rest of the way too. So. You, you can't see it with the camera, but the fibers are stripped off there in this dark area, the gray area. Move over there. The, 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 the fibers are stripped off the threshold fiber. That's just the bottom of the carpet and the mat's about to come through. Yeah. Which is cool, but that's how it is. So you're not cleaning it. You're just making it a little nicer than it was. Well, you're still taking all the dirt out. Oh yeah, you're doing something. We'll throw that uh, bonnet in the washing machine when we get home, and I guarantee you the water in the washing machine will turn black. All right, let me see if I can work on this in Real quick while you're doing some, that. Sometimes I'll be wrong, but not really. If I say I'll something, that's pretty much the bottom. Put some Clorox on it, Jim. Yeah. Okay, the only other room left 
this little room here, the carpet's like a dark brown color, and the light's not very bright. I'm not going to bother showing it, and there's not that much to see in here anyway. Uh, the other room is right there. And here he is in here. Yeah, like I say, let me pre spray that, and you can feel it just real look at his lip. Well, I'm trying so to see. I'll just, yeah, sink your camera burner. Come on, five minutes. I think I'm already almost to 14 minutes, so. You're fine. Just don't let, me, let me take a pause for the calls, and I'll be right back. Hmm. They got a window here. All right, I'm going to try to stay out of the only light source that's really going to work, which is that window. As much as possible. We'll just show this real quick. I don't even know if you can really see it. I can already tell the camera makes it look like this carpet is cream colored and it's actually a chocolate brown color. So. Cream? cream colored. Oh cream. Yeah. And it's not even close to that color, so that's the ISO. Well good for that. Just trying to kick in and help out a little bit. Oh, it helps a lot. All right, check the check the video description for links and other information. I'll put it all down there. And there's not much to this. It's very simple. Now these are some old, worn-out carpets. So big time. Yeah. They don't have carpet powder on a lot of them. Yeah, they they were real thin carpets anyway, and they're pretty worn out. It's only so much you can do with them. Well, with this greenery and stuff, this would be a good room to keep your pet monkey yeah, in. over there. That way you're not walking the same direction I am every step. Yeah, this would be a good green, a good room to keep your reptiles in, or the whole house would be good for that. Like I said, if you if you had a gorilla, this would be the room that he'd probably like the best. It's kind of like Equatorial Africa in here with that plant. Yeah, you just take a tire swing, and you're all set. Is that it? That's it. Oh. Oh, oh what? Oh, then I hope everybody enjoyed it because it's over. That's it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Find you have to find, next. now you got to find something else to watch, but till. Good luck. Next time, we, we uh, thank you for dropping by our channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe.